Hello my name is Perlinda, welcome to the vibe. If you think with more emotion than logic, leave now. Now let's begin. Spanked outside the restaurant. <laughs> I love my husband. Oh my gosh. So we were leaving. Um, he had taken me out for like a little date night and we're walking out um, and it had like a patio area where people were sitting outside. And I don't know what I said that was apparently a little too sassy. And he gave me like two, three hard swats on the ass. And all of a sudden we hear like, <gasps> like gasps coming from the little patio right there. And the guys were just clapping and the women have their mouths just dropped open. They're like, oh, and one of the guys goes harder. And my husband said, what do you say? I said, harder, daddy. Hello, notification squad. <laughs> Inside of the vibe. Appreciate everybody who tunes in every single day. We release a lot of content um, and everyone who comes in and hits the like button. You are appreciated all right so today men we are going to get into with rada submissive wife happy life aka i bow before my husband that is her new channel all right and she's going to be talking about basically why getting domestic discipline in public is a turn on for submissive wife and really for every Pretty much every single female, all right. Because now, okay, if you if you're on the channel, you understand a female's role is to be submissive to a man. For I don't think I'll go too deep into the reasons in this video, but it's because a female is supposed to be beneath the man. A man saves a female from her self-destructive bomb, and when he does that, she looks up to him and she loves him and she knows that her emotions can't take control of her without him getting involved and saving her from her. So, females want domestic discipline, which is why they always love being spanked and things like that. And they always go after the, the men that are, you know, they'll say he's just overly controlling, but that's always their longest relationship. And they'll always, they always end up typically with abusive men and things like that. Why? Because females like a dominant man. They like knowing that a man will put them in their place, will keep them safe, not only from the world, but from themselves. Okay. So she's going to be going into why uh, it's a turn on. Let's get into it. Let's do a little bit of this. A few secrets. <laughs> Every time my husband takes off his belt and I hear that whoosh sound, I get tingles. And that's that was happening before I ever even asked him. Because that sound of that belt is the sound of ooh, discipline from a man that loves and cares for me. Discipline that a man that'll take charge. A man that's smart enough to guide the family. That's what that shoo, that sound of that belt is. Ooh, he's about to lead us again. He's about to put me in my place. And I love being in my place, which is where man is above me. Ooh, shoo. <laughs> Do you understand? Spanking is healthy. Doing to your wife. Okay? Because it constantly keeps them. You're gonna, you're going to always need to eventually spank her again and things like that because females resemble children. To be honest, <laughs> they like being put in their place. They don't take like a man takes pride in. I need no one. I can conquer by myself. We take pride in that. Females, they cannot discipline themselves, man. They need a man to discipline them. They don't have the self-discipline trait that men have like oh that doesn't make sense i'll never do that again no they need a man to check them and put them in their place and that's what that sound of that belt does like oh man okay he's gonna oh he's gonna put me back in my natural place for any spankings um there's something about a man in his belt <laughs> or his hand it just is an incredible turn on and it is so true that our brains are connected to our ass. <laughs> Just the threat. If I'm a little too sassy one night, he'll be like, do we need to go upstairs? And I'm like, no. And this is the thing what females do as well, too. You'll just be just regular conversation, just regular life. Boom, 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 boom. And they'll just get sassy. Just randomly. Randomly, they'll get sassy. Where as a man, if you allow them to do that, 
she's crap testing and testing your manhood. It's just in a female's nature. You have to have, you know, lines with it. They can't go too far with the crap testing. But I, it, I don't care how old they are. I don't care how long you've been together. They will just randomly, like their nature just goes, test him if he's still a man. Even though you've been doing that your entire relationship. But females are children. <laughs> okay, on an overall scale, right? So females just will randomly just get sass, like, no, no, no. He'd be like, what? No, right? And if you as a man allow her to do that, next thing you know, the next conversation, she'd be like, no, 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 no. And then you let her go again. No, 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 Right? And see, that's what ends up happening. Okay? Because females, they they poke. Ooh, did I, did I get away with that? And then, oh, I got away with it. Ooh, poke, 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 poke twice. It's, it's just their childish nature. Okay? Because they just, for whatever reason, whatever created them, they have a rebellious spirit. That needs to be disciplined by another species. It just is what it is. So they'll get this sass and you have to check it. You cannot. With the females, you have to win every single battle. Because a lot of men, and I know a lot of older gentlemen who thought like this. Like, like you know, you got to win the war with your wife. You know, uh, you don't have to win every battle. BS. With females, every battle you have to win. Every battle is the ultimate war. Because with them, man, they're not even really trying to win a war. They're just basically kind of trying to see if they can kind of get you off of your pivot. And that's more so their war. So with that, you have to meet, they have to immediately know you will spank them. You will discipline them if they get too crazy. You will take away car, uh, credit cards. And you will do this, that, and the third. They have to know that. It's just it, it's just in their childish nature to go, will he, will he put me in my place again? It's just their nature daddy <laughs> because as much fun and i enjoy certain parts of it punishment still punishment but the other part is sexually you know like if you guys didn't know like when a man tightens his hand around your throat it literally tightens up the kitty at the same time it's so bizarre but it's just a true thing yep. safe standing consensual guys <laughs> A lot of men have not ever choked a FIFA in intercourse, <laughs> consensual, of course, right? A lot of men haven't done that. Like, you know, a lot of men look at it like, like, oh, like this is some magical type of intertwine and boom, 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 boom. for a real man, intercourse is this feels good. And it's, yeah, I'm dominating my wife. This is my wife I'm dominating. So a lot of men have never choked a female and then, like, gave it to her and gave it to her rough. You know, like, oh, I don't want to hurt her and things like that. Obviously, don't really hurt her, right? But intercourse for a female is pain, okay? So when you're with your wife, man, give it to her rough. <laughs> give, give it to her rough. Don't give it to her all soft, okay? You giving it to a female rough, like... It like resets their equilibrium. Do you understand? Like all of their crazy, wild emotions, it like resets them because you have to understand. Like FIFA to FIFA's pain is just another emotion. Okay, so you're giving them this pain, and then it's like, and it's this massaging pain, and then it, it brings their emotions back down to where it needs to be. But you have to give it to them rough for them to uh for that to happen. Don't give it to them soft. You need to give it to them rough all right so now let's get into this all right so now she's going to get into her experience of why she likes being spanked getting domestic discipline in public and how that's her knowing her man will do that is a turn on it's a turn it's a turn on for females because they know like oh he doesn't care what anyone thinks and see a man who doesn't care what anyone thinks what does that say about him he's a leader he's strong he's dominant he's alpha OK, and no matter what, at any place and at any time, he will keep his family in check for their own safety. OK, so let's get into it. Spanked outside the restaurant. <laughs> I love my husband. Oh, my gosh. See, now this is a FIFA who, you know, getting it uh, as she, in her words, says sometimes she he puts his hand around her neck and stuff like that. What does he say? I love my husband. Whenever you hear a female that is submissive talking about her husband, they're always typically smiling and they're always in a great mood. Why? Because, see, that man saved her from her self-destructive bomb. Females do not want to be your equal. That is some feminism lie that they've tried to force in the West and why relationships don't work now, why females are like, where's all the real men? Okay, a female is truly happy when she has a man she can look up to and that she is submissive to.
So we were leaving. Um, he had taken me out for like a little date night and we're walking out um, and it had like a patio area where people were sitting outside. And I don't know what I said that was apparently a little too sassy. See, see, now the situation with the sassy is just it. As a men, you have to understand female nature. They're going to crap test you. Right. It's like when you get with the wife and, and you know, with the FIFA you're taking serious, it's kind of like taking on another pet. <laughs> Do you understand? In a sense, like. A lot of maintaining, a lot of things you have to go through, and you have to be a strong, intelligent man. You know, a man really has to build up himself to become such a high quality, you know, of his gender. A FIFA pretty much just has to be born her gender and take a bath and, you know, stay decently in shape and boom, right? She's peak FIFA, right? But see, they will, just like what I said, guys, their, their nature is just to just... Like, or, nah, 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 nah. They're trying, like, like, and they know they shouldn't have said it like that and said that, but it's it's their childish nature of wanting the man to put them in your in in their place. You can never allow females to talk to you like that, man. A lot of men allow females to say sassy things and oh, I don't want to get into an argument and things like that. Well, number one, your FIFA has to know you don't do arguments with females. Okay, that's that's number one. Okay, because you are a leader. You are. Females look at you arguing with them like they're your equal. Okay, and a lot of men don't know this. I didn't know this, that she doesn't care about the result of this argument or what's even correct. She's trying to be my equal because she doesn't care about what result this happens. She's trying to be my equal. You don't ever argue with them. You go, this is what my standards are. And if my standards aren't being met, I'm leaving. That's how you deal with females, okay? With men, is men and men talking to each other is different, but men and a female, okay, it's not. It is not the same. And he gave me like two, three hard swats on the ass, and all of a sudden we hear like, <gasps> like gasps coming from the little patio right there, and the guys were just clapping, and the women had their mouths just dropped open. They're like, <gasps> great man. <laughs> Never allow your female to be sassy and sassy in public? That is a disrespect against your manhood. Obviously, you know, they're married and things like that. I doubt she went too far. But still, that is a slight, even less than 1% disrespect against your manhood. And you can't allow it. You can't allow your wife out here to be talking to you a certain type of way. Other people will look at like, oh, you see, your always oh, wife runs the relationship. Nope. What, what did she say? Boom. Right in public. Right in front of everyone. And everyone's seen it. And the females watching went, Oh, I wish I had that type of man. Oh, feminism is telling me that this is wrong. But deep down, oh my goodness, I'm so turned on by that. And men are going, yeah, we want to do that. But they'll put us in jail. <laughs> yep. Oh, this is a great thumbnail. Yeah, that's that's going to be the thumbnail right there. That's, that's probably the thumbnail right there. I think that that should be okay. I think that maybe I'll, I'll see. And one of the guys goes, harder and my husband said what do you say i said harder daddy so he gave me a couple more harder and they just applauded and i was like oh my gosh this is hilarious good man so anyway um then the girls just started giggling and they were like wow we've never seen anything like that so i was just like yes daddy thank you and they wish they had something like that and she's happy like yep yeah, thank you for putting me in my place i was sassy because instinctively i was testing to see if you put me in my place and that you'll keep leading me and protect me and keep me safe thank you for putting me back in my place and keeping my emotions under control that's just their nature okay it just is what it is thank you but um yeah i love my master <laughs> See, calls a master and loves him. <laughs> Whenever a female is submissive, she I, she loves her man. She doesn't want another man. Whenever they when they fully agree to submission to a man, they don't want another man. They're not trying to go. Oh, but this man, no, 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 no. They're good with their man. They're fine with everything going on with their man. A real man should only ever ever tolerate a submissive female. And obviously, in the West, finding that is very difficult. Just get your passports, go overseas and get that. But that is the standards of what you want, okay? You disciplining your female in public is crucial, okay? Because to be honest, she's going to want to test you in public. Like, okay, he, he, okay, he tests me at home. I know he'll test me at home. But what will he do when we're in front of people? Ooh, because see, that's the real test of manlyhood. And do you care what people think? Okay, you cannot be, but you have to know how to do it. You don't go, you don't like yell at her like, Rah! that's not how you have to do it. You know, everyone kind of has their own style, but some spanks, some firmness, but with some calmness and some logic.
Do you understand? You have to find that personal balance mixed in with your own personality. All right. So if you enjoyed the video, man, the thumbs up, subscribe. Cash up down below if you ever want to support Discord down below and the TikTok down below and a rumble down below. Definitely follow me on that rumble um, where we're going to be releasing a lot of more so uncensored stuff. And again, a lot of these apps have turned things a lot political. So, um, you know, you have to support platforms that support freedom of speech and things like that or else you can't complain that there's no freedom of speech. All right, but well, let me know what you guys think down below. Is uh, giving domestic discipline to your wife in public, is that too much? Is that too far? Or is that the cherry on top for keeping a family together? Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, I'll see you guys in the video. <gasps> Peace.